specific tips uh, on how to save thousands. Uh, now, before I start, I just want to make this comment that this is just a little bit of a mindset thing. Um, I'll ask the question, what would you do um, to earn a thousand, two thousand or three thousand dollars in an hour? Uh, and that's not a trick question. <laughs> um, but, but think about it. Um, how many people out there will ever earn a thousand, two thousand or three thousand dollars in an hour? Imagine earning a thousand, two thousand or three thousand dollars in fifteen minutes. Um, for most people it's not within their imagination either. What's really crazy is that it is a heck of a lot easier to save money than it is to earn money. And when I say save money, I mean negotiate. Um, most things are negotiable, and uh, particularly car sales. And most people have no idea how to do it, and they will leave so many thousands of dollars on the table. And if you earn thirty, forty dollars an hour, and you you, you purchase something two or three thousand dollars more than you needed to, um, work out how many weeks of your life you'd have to work to actually earn that. And this is net. When you earn money, you've got to pay tax on it as well. So anyway, enough of that. Um, the five tips basically are this, uh, and I'll summarize them first. You need the right mindset. You need to do some research. You need urgency, cautious interest, um, and you need to negotiate. The mindset, um, th this is like going out on stage. If you're going out to, to make a major purchase, five, 10, 15, 30,000 dollars, you know what you want to buy, um, but you have to have the mindset, there is a game going to be involved. And a lot of people say, look, I don't like to negotiate and I don't like dealing with salespeople. Um, you need to get over it, um, do a little bit of research, um, which is actually part two, and you'll be fine. Because I guarantee uh, the salesperson wants your business. Um, and if you know how to play the game, um, they will do as you want. So second part of it is you need to research. Uh, you need to know, it only takes 10 or 15 minutes on Google to find out, um, research the make and model of what you're looking at, look at a couple of comparable models, uh, sorry, comparable vehicles um, that are different models, um, and, and just see what impact uh, kilometers makes, high mileage and so forth, and um, just know your stuff before you walk into that courtyard. The third part is sense of urgency. When you go in there, um, you need to communicate with whoever you're talking to in a friendly way, but that you're going away for a month or a couple of months on either holidays or business um, over the next couple of days. So you need to let them know that you're a that you're a hot prospect. Um, but once you walk off that courtyard, they're probably never going to see you um, again. So um, be cautiously interested. Um, you know, you know, presumably when you walk in, what you want to buy. Um, look interested, um, look enthused, um, and the salesperson is going to get emotionally involved in that because they're going to be in their head. They're starting to work out their commissions on that sale. Um, but then what you do is you play a little game, and this is all just fun, but um, it's all it is all a game. Um, then you need to look a bit disappointed. Turn your interest uh, and enthusiasm into disappointment. There'll be a couple of scratches, there'll maybe be a dent, maybe the kilometers or mileage is a little higher than, um, than you were hoping for. And what happens now is that the salesperson starts to, starts to play your game um, and they start, they're going to start to want to help you um, um, get out of that disappointed stage. And uh, the best way to do that is obviously to get a better price. Um, then you need to ask a simple question um, and you need to ask this on every purchase that you make um, that's over a couple of hundred dollars. What's the absolute best price that you would do on this car? And then wait, wait for the answer, don't interrupt. If they ask you a deflecting question, like, oh, well, would you be interested in buying today? Or anything like that, just just smile and just say, look, I'll ask you, and, you know, what is the absolute best price you, you would be willing um, to do on that? And, um, don't proceed um, or don't don't get involved in any more dialogue until that question is answered. Um, whatever price they give you, um, you need to now you need to think about this and I want you to, to say this in your head over and over and over again before you walk into that showroom. You'll have to do better than that. That is a magic line. Um, whatever price they give you, and uh, whatever psychology and whatever whatever way they wrap it up and, and um, justify it, just shake your head and say, God, you'll have to do better than that. 
and um, see what happens. And it's amazing. Sometimes they'll just go, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> they're not used to um, people negotiating with them professionally. And you'd be surprised how quickly they'll knock it down. At that point then, you need to be prepared to walk away. Um, you need to say, well, look, that's very interesting. I'm going to have to think about it. Salespeople hate that. They know that when you walk off um, off their lot, they're never seeing you again. Um, so look like you're interested, but look, uh, to, you know, I'll have to think about it. Um, you know, give me a couple of days. They know you're going away. <laughs> um, and either wait for them to stop you, or at the last second, just turn back and go, look, what is the absolute best deal you can do for us today? And see what happens. And you'd be amazed. You'll get another two, three, four, five hundred dollars um, knocked off. So mindset, research, urgency, cautious interest and negotiate. Ask the right questions. And I guarantee you will save thousands and thousands of dollars uh, on your purchases. It's not that hard, but you need to be prepared. And I'll ask you the question I asked you at the beginning. What would you do for a 